Hello everybody and welcome back to another editing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to correct an underexposed face. It's the clip that I'm using is of my friend Tom. He's also got a YouTube channel which is dedicated to cycling. So if that's something you'd be into, definitely go check it out. Link will be in the description. So the first thing you want to do is copy and paste your clip and then layer it above one another. Then you want to go to your effects tab and type in draw mask and then put this on the top clip. Then zoom in a little bit. Now you want to draw a mask around your subject's face. So you want to go to, to the start of the clip and draw something like this. So as you can see, the mask doesn't actually go right to the edge of Tom's face. And this will be explained a little bit later on and then i go to the blend mode and select add and you can see that this instantly lights up his face but as you can see as i press play the original mask doesn't exactly line up so we're going to have to do a little bit of animating so now you can see why i don't take the mask right to the very edge because i use this feather tool and what this does it, it serves as blending the darker footage with now the lighter footage and whereas if I didn't have this, it would be a very stark contrast between the two. Now, here comes a very important part. So on the, under the draw mask, you click on the position keyframe and also on the control points. Now this should be done right at the very start of your clip. So as we move forward, you can see that Tom's face actually moves out of the original mask. So now we have to move the mask so it continues to cover Tom's face. And you can also move each individual control point as well. So as you can see, I skipped over quite a couple frames before I'd make each adjustment. You don't have to be super precise with this because the feather helps out quite a lot. If you think this face has been lit up too much, uh, you go to the blend mode section and then under opacity, you just scale it down. As you can see now, Tom's face is pretty well lit and I'm happy with how this turned out. Thanks heaps for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.